Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Jenkins on your Mac operating system. Now, in order to install Jenkins, we need to have Java installed on our system and we will see which version of Java we are required to install Jenkins on Jenkins page. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for Jenkins. And in here, the first link which will appear here will be from Jenkins.io. So I'm going to click on this link. And once you are in this uh, website, you just need to go to the downloads button. So I'm going to click on the downloads button. And then you will come to this downloads web page, right? Let's see the requirements of installing Jenkins on our Mac. So in order to see that, you just need to go to the documentation page. I'm going to open this documentation page on the next tab. So documentation page and then use Jenkins. So just click on documentation and then click use Jenkins. And in here, we will just scroll down a little and we will just find the section which says installing Jenkins. And I'm going to click on this. And once you click on this, uh, we will see the prerequisite of installing Jenkins. So here you can see the system requirements. And under this, you can see the software requirements. And the software requirement says Java 8, either Java runtime environment or Java development kit is fine. So we need to have Java 8 installed in order to use Jenkins on our Mac. So I already have Java installed on my system. If you don't, you just need to install it. Now, once you have done this, we are ready to install Jenkins. So just come to the downloads page and then just scroll down a little. Don't click on the download button. We will just go uh, down and we will search for the section which says Mac OS X. Now you can see here, there are two categories here. One is the weekly build. So this is the most latest uh, build you can get for Jenkins. And other is the LTS version, which is long-term support version. So we are going to download and install the LTS version. So just go under the LTS uh, section and then choose the Mac OS X. So just click on this Mac OS X and this is going to start the download of this Jenkins 2.107 which is the latest LTS version .pkg file. So I'm going to wait for this download to complete. So now the download of this uh, .pkg file is complete. So I'm going to double click on this uh, .pkg file. And now I'm going to minimize the browser. And you can see here the installer for Jenkins has been started. So here I just need to click continue. And the next step is to agree with the license terms and conditions. So I'm going to just uh, click on uh, continue button and I'm going to just click agree. And on this next step, you will be asked, how do you want to install uh, the software? Install for all users of this computer. So this is okay for me. So I'm going to just click on continue. And in the next step, it says this will take around uh, 74 megabyte of space on your computer and then uh, click install to perform the standard installation. So I'm going to just click on uh, install button. And here I just need to give my max password. So I'm going to give my max password and I'm going to just say install software. And this is going to start the installation process for Jenkins. So I'm going to wait for the installation to complete. And once the installation is complete, you will see directly on your default browser on the localhost port 8080 this Jenkins page will start automatically and it will say please wait while Jenkins is getting ready to work okay so it will uh, start automatically on uh, localhost port 8080 so if it doesn't start you can just uh, write on your favorite browser localhost port 8080 and uh, you will see this kind of Jenkins page. And the first step is to unlock Jenkins. So the initial admin password for Jenkins, which is uh, required here, is saved on this location. So you need to uh, just copy this initial admin password from this location, and then you just need to uh, paste it here in the admin's password. So I'm going to just copy uh, this path 
and once you have copied this path just open your terminal and in here you just need to write sudo and then cat and then just paste this uh, path and then press enter and give your max password here and then press enter and then you will see this password here so you just need to copy this password which is this one in your case it can be different and then just paste this password here and then press continue so just paste the password you have copied and then press continue now on the next step you will be asked to customize Jenkins so there are uh, two ways of doing this you can click this button which says install suggested plugins or you can click this button which says select plugins to install so we will choose the first option which says install suggested plugins and I'm going to click on this button which is going to start installing the suggested plugins these plugins are for example git or ldap or subversion plugin or gradle plugin so these are some of the suggested plugins which are suggested by Jenkins to us so I will just wait for uh, the plugins to install it will take some time to install each and every plugin so I'm going to wait for that and once each and every plugin is installed we will be redirected to create our admin credentials so I'm going to wait for that so now all the plugins are installed on the Jenkins and I will be redirected to this uh, create first admin user page automatically so after installing all the plugins you will see uh, this page which says create first admin user so I'm going to create the first admin user and I'm going to just say username is admin you can give any name uh, here username here and then give any password here and then repeat the password and then give your full name I'm going to just write admin once again but you are free to give any uh, name which you like and here you just need to give your email whatever you like so I have given my email address and then I'm going to just press save and finish which is going to save this admin user and password and I'm going to just say never for this website and you will see this message which says Jenkins is ready start using Jenkins so I'm going to just click on this button which says start using Jenkins and you will see the Jenkins interface here right so here you can create your first job by clicking this button and then uh, you can uh, install other plugins to manage the users which we will cover in the later videos so I'm going to click on this uh, link which says create new jobs and from here you can create uh, different kind of uh, jobs for example freestyle project or pipeline or multi configuration project or any other kind of project so this we are going to see later so this is how you can download and install Jenkins on your Mac operating system I hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now